And Rovers have been joined in the relegation zone by Swindon, who lost last night. Yeovil Town, though, are heading in the other direction. The only one of our sides to give their fans something to smile about. Bottom of the table at the start of the year, Yeovil are now amongst the form teams in the country. This was their fifth win in seven games, a tight contest that was settled by Andy Williams' goal in the second half. And the reputation of goalkeeper Stephen Henderson is growing by the game. The Irishman, on loan from Bristol City, produced another man-of-the-match performance that helped the Glovers out of the relegation zone for the first time in over three months. We're turning this place into a very cagey place to come, and for me it's, you know, it's really exciting, and, we're, and we've got something going at the moment. Again, I'll say the support's right with us, and, and, they, and when they're saying that they believe, it just makes my job a lot easier. Swindon have replaced Yeovil in the bottom four and were out of luck at Bournemouth. Nothing wrong with Paul Caddis's equaliser, though, the Scotsman's first goal of his career. Swindon went behind again until Matt Ritchie hauled them level. He found himself in the right place at the right time. Danny Wilson's side then had this goal ruled out for a foul, a decision that left the manager seething. And his mood didn't improve as Bournemouth found a winner to leave Swindon empty-handed. On because Lee Bradbury has made a great start as Bournemouth manager, and last night it was at the expense of Swindon. A deflected opener from Liam Feeney was cancelled out by a superb effort from Paul Caddis. Much is expected of striker Danny Ings at Dean Court. His first league goal came from a yard out. On loan, Matt Ritchie turned in another equaliser in the second half. But Swindon, who've lost Charlie Austin and Sean Morrison in the transfer window, are now in the bottom four after Danny Holland secured a fine winner and praise from the boss. Danny's been patient and waiting for his chance and now he's got his chance and he took it tonight brilliantly, I thought.